rushing through this because I'm on a time crunch. I have to do all of these returns. I'm so bad with returns. I always forget. I'll put it off. I think I have way more time than I actually have and then I end up forgetting and it, it's it's a bad thing. <laughs> it's, it's a really bad habit. So today is like my last day to go and actually return these things. So I'm going to show you what I'm returning because it's a lot. So I'm obsessed with these um, sweatpants sets from Nike. I have the chocolate brown set and it's perfect, but the sizing is just so strange. Like I have the medium short pants in that and they fit like a glove. They're oversized and comfy, but not too oversized. But I think because I got the short length is why they worked because I got the medium regular length in the other ones because they didn't have it in the short length. And they're huge, just overly baggy. So I have this blue color that it's just so big. I'm gonna return the gray ones because they're too big. Um, they match this, but I do really like my sweatshirt. So I'm gonna keep the sweatshirt. And then this color, which mainly, also the pants are too big, but also this color on me just it really washed me out. I have makeup on now, so I'm sure it'll look better. But when I don't have makeup, okay, it actually is kind of cute now that I have this on, damn it. But that's okay. Because I just felt like when I didn't have makeup on, it looked like it blended in with my skin and that's not the vibe. So then I also have some stuff for Nordstrom and Revolve. Oh, and I have those two Nike things as well. Almost forgot about those. I got these from two separate places because I really wanted it for Valentine's Day and it's really cute. Like even as I'm looking at it on the camera, I think it's so cute. It's a sweatshirt that says it costs zero dollars to be a nice person and then the matching pants to go with it. But the color on me was just crazy. It was so bright and I just felt like the sweatshirt was really weird. I mean, it's so pretty and cute, but it was kind of expensive and I just, I don't love it. I'm not gonna wear it. So um, I got the sweatshirt from Nordstrom because I could have got, when I, when I ordered it, Nordstrom had quicker shipping for the sweatshirt because it was like on back order on Revolve. Um, and then the sweatpants are from Revolve. And then I also ordered this, it's like a jumpsuit, bodysuit type thing. It's really cute, but I just haven't worn it. So I'm just going to bring that back too. And then I have these two sweatshirts from Nike as well that I ordered separately. They're very cute. Like, right, this is the vibe. But the bottom crop just kind of goes in this like U shape. And it looks so crazy on me. This one too, like I love the color. It's so flattering on me. But again, that bottom, they're like cropped sweatshirts look insane on me. So yeah, I'm returning those as well. And then after that, I have a workout class at five that I signed up for. So um, it just kind of depends on how long my returns take. Hopefully I won't have to go straight to my workout class because I would like to stop at Target. I haven't been to Target in so long and I just feel like it would be fun to go. So I'm gonna wrap up all this stuff, get it all packaged up. I already printed out my slips. That's what I feel like takes the longest is just getting it all organized and printed out and stuff. So I'm gonna um, pack all of them, them up, put the slip on and then we can go and return everything. Okay, I'm in my car, ready to go. It's two o'clock. Let me actually just double check and make sure that everything's open. <laughs> you just never know. I feel like sometimes I go to places where I feel like it's gonna be open and everything's gonna be, everything's gonna be fine, and then everything's closed. So, let's check this out. UBS. Of course they're open, perfect. So I'm wearing my hokas because of the whole plantar fasciitis thing. I mentioned in my favorites video that I have that, or at least I'm pretty sure that I have that. I haven't gone to a doctor or anything, but I'm pretty sure that's what I have. Um, so I've been trying to keep my activity level down a lot, and I feel like it is working to like help it feel better. So I'm wearing my Hoka's today because I feel like that really helps with pain. But I don't like doing any like lifting or like running around in these. I just feel like it, they're a little 
like bulky so I brought these shoes with these are my APL sneakers I don't know the style but they're just these like more sleek low profile shoes so I have these with me because if I'm out and about and time gets away from me I want to be able to go straight to my workout class so I've got that I literally have three water bottles I have this one because it's cute and aesthetic and it's what I've been drinking out of plus it's my largest one um, then I have this one for working out when I go to my class because it's a sport bottle like that and then I have my electrolytes which this looks dirty but it's just stained I put it in the dishwasher and I never should have done that because it's now stained on the bottom with like spaghetti sauce or something but it is clean but these have my electrolytes in them I've been really good at taking my electrolytes again love them love the LMNT raspberry salt it's the best I found my old car CD holder um, this just like hung out in my car in high school and after high school and I found it uh, like two months ago and I've been meaning to put it in my car so I can listen to my CDs. So I'm in the mood to listen to some old Christian music, um, very niche, but like when I grew up we weren't allowed to listen to like normal music. I had to listen to... Uh, like Christian artists and stuff so um, I have a lot of Zoe girl on here and I actually met them <laughs> they played at a mall and I met um, Zoe girl I met Stacy Arico and I met Joy Williams and I think there was like a boy band a boy band that we met as well um, but kind of funny but I have um, just a bunch of CDs let me show you. So I've got, this is like my Christian section. I've got some Ellie Golding, Goo Dolls. Um, that, there's just like a ton of mixed CDs in here. So yeah, I think I want to listen to Zoe Girl, because why not? Z. Oh. Life. Yeah. Eternal life. Nothing's gonna stand in my way. It's a mission. It won't stop till I'm there. Oh my god, I know what that means now. shock at how much you can remember like I haven't listened to this song in like what 20 years fucking wild I know every single word and I slay there from like Wait, are you a little <clears throat> no I just actually thought I was gonna burp <laughs> oh I thought you were having emotions I was all right I just got to Nordstrom Rack and let me close my sunroof it is 73 degrees i did not dress appropriately i should probably take off my sweatshirt but i'm not going to um i love ups they always make it so easy to do returns and stuff i don't know why i build it up in my head to be like harder than it is um but yeah i just got to nordstrom i'm gonna return the one sweatshirt that i have fun fact back in the day when ashley simpson was like on the rise um my friend sarah and i went to a walmart i think it was like the day that her new cd came out or something and Ashley Simpson was going to be there and do like a meet and greet and I remember we stood in line and we waited we didn't get a chance to actually meet her I think maybe we had to pay or something I don't know something happened where the only thing that we could do was just like walk right past her <laughs> so weird so we did that and then they had us all like hang out outside of this Walmart and they said she was going to come out that door and they lied because then she went out a different door and she was like running and then the whole crowd started running so then we started running now me an adult I, I just don't get like I would never do something like that but it's just funny looking back and thinking about it and then also realizing that was at a Walmart I don't know it's just also funny and then um what made me remember this was I saw something on TikTok like two weeks ago and it was like Ashley Simpson a Ashley Simpson performing at a Walmart. I want to share that fun little story. I'm going to run into Nordstrom Rack, do my return, 
and then I'll be back. And I'm fucking overheating. Okay, just returned my Nordstrom return. And now I have about 40 minutes until I have to head over to my workout class. So I might head to Target. I haven't been to Target in forever. And I just kind of feel like taking a little gander looking around. I really want to find a cute small notebook for um, journaling in the morning, but um, I've actually gone there before and I got one, but I got a regular size one and it's just way too big. I want something smaller so that I don't feel as intimidated and don't have to like fill out so much in the morning. So I'd like to find a cute notebook there. Um, so maybe we'll go head there, maybe look at the home stuff, maybe like the outdoor section. I'm so excited to get like flowers and whatnot again this year i'm gonna do something kind of similar but a little bit different this year and i'm just i'm planning for it i know i'm a little ahead of the game i still have like two months until i can do that but um doesn't hurt to go look at everything so i think i might go head over there and then we can head to the workout just got to target i usually park really far away from like the entrance of places but the other day I didn't I parked really close next to a bunch of cars of course the day that I do that the guy that was parked next to me in his red van the wind was really windy that day and it blew his uh door into my car while I was in the car and I got out and I was short with him but I also like I don't know what to do in that situation there was red marks on my car so he's like, oh, I'm sorry, the wind. I'm like, yeah, I fucking know. Um, I'm also an adult and I know how to grab my door, but also accidents happen. I get it. Anyway, um, so now I park really far away again and I'm not going to park close anymore because I don't want your shit hitting my car. Anyway, let's go have fun at Target. <laughs> car from Target that wasn't even an enjoyable experience I feel like Target is just going to shit I don't know what their new strategy is with having all the registers down except for one and then have everyone do self-checkout it creates such a long line and I thought it was just Target's around here but it's everywhere apparently um horrible idea it literally made me leave because I didn't even want to look around at stuff because I didn't want to like anything because I didn't want to have to wait in line. So they need to change something about that because that's just wild. Um, and I, I'm a self-checkout lover. If there's a little line for self-checkout and an empty spot for regular checkout, I will go to self-checkout. But they make the whole thing for self-checkout and then it's a long ass line that goes like, like when you come in the store, you can't even go anywhere. It's crazy. I don't know. I just feel like, what are they thinking? Um, I found a cute notebook too, but because of the line, I was like, well, I'll just come back at another time or go somewhere else. Um, I didn't like the home decor. There was one like marble looking, um, I think it's like a wine cooler but I like it for like holding utensils and things like wooden spoons and whatnot um and then I looked over in the like yard section I didn't really see anything over there so yeah now let me um grab my phone I had to take off my sweatshirt it's like 75 degrees which is crazy I didn't know it was gonna get so warm today lately I feel like it's been saying it's gonna be warm and then it's cloudy and then there's wind so then it doesn't feel as warm um, yeah, let me see how far it is to the gym. Look at there a little early. So I guess I will head over that way now. <sighs> I'm not really looking forward to this class. I don't know why. I just don't do well with classes at the end of the day. I love working out first thing in the morning. So it's like something about like the anticipation of it. And then like, it's about time to go. And I'm just like, Oh, I don't want to go. And I would cancel but I would get a $10 fee, which I actually canceled my class yesterday because of my plantar fasciitis, which is getting better, but I just didn't want 
I, I had like a good thing going. It was feeling better. And I was like, I don't want to like make it worse by going to a cardio class. So this class is a lifting one. So I feel like it will be less impact on like the actual heel, depending on what we do. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm really not looking forward to it. I like this gym though. Um, this is my old kickboxing trainer's gym, and I did a boxing class there the other day with my friend Candice, and we loved it. Um, we'll probably come back for more boxing, but I wanted, I have like a seven day trial, so I wanted to try some like other classes that they offer. So this is one of the other classes. So. I'm going to try that out, see how it goes. Normally I don't love lifting classes either because I feel like when you're going to lift, you want to like go and have like a program and like follow a guideline for your specific self. It's hard to customize your lifting when you're in a class. Um, but I feel like I'm judging the class before I even try it. So we're going to go do that. Um, and I love the vibe of this gym too. It's like all black with like different colored lights and stuff. It's really cool. Um, if I have some balls I will record a little bit of it but most likely I'm not going to so <laughs> let's go to this class just got here it actually took me a lot longer to get here because there was so much traffic but I'm still early I've got 10 minutes until the class starts so I'm gonna sit here and work up the courage to go in because I'm feeling a little sleepy right now but the next time you see me I will probably look really red <laughs> Ooh, I am so tired um, it's six o'clock now which how awesome is it that it's how awesome is it that it's not like six o'clock and the sun's still out I really liked the class I would consider that more of like a hit kind of style just because it was um, there were some like cardio aspects to it and the lifting parts are timed that was my thing with f45 is their strength days were still really time focused and so when you do that it's like get as many in as you can um that to me is still hit but i really liked the class i liked that there was more options for lifting heavier there's a deadlift station and um you could easily just add plates on where i feel like at f45 i don't know like a lot of their stuff isn't labeled or if it is, it's like, it's not your typical standard workout equipment. Or like here, it's the same standard as like every other gym. So it's easy to like understand and whatever. So anyway, I had a really good, good class, but I am tired and I'm ready to go home and wash my face and make dinner. Oh, I just fucking love daylight savings. I love it. I love that we just had the time change because right now it's like, oh yes, I'm ready to go cuddle up and cozy in and the sun's still out and it's like... It's time to end the day. It just feels really good. So I'm just going to drink some more water and listen to some Ellie Golding and head home. Also, check out my makeup. It lasted pretty good, huh? I think I let it slide. I feel like I don't get to enjoy it so much <laughs> so I just want to enjoy my makeup so I feel like I never have it on so oh, but yeah I just put on some sweats this is this is the sweatshirt I had on earlier and then I have on these like waffle flare pajama pants so what I'm gonna do maybe start editing some stuff um, I'm gonna start dinner in a little bit I have to charge my watch but um, for dinner, we're gonna have some tacos. I recently picked up these cauliflower thins again. Oh shit, I need to put them in the fridge. I almost forgot. Um, these, love these. Um, I should actually maybe put them on the counter. <sighs> but we had tacos last night and we're gonna have leftovers for dinner and they were so good. I don't know. I think it was just we used um skirt steak last night instead of chicken and we've been doing like chicken and mole and putting that into a taco and oh, it's been so good um but last night we just did steak and we haven't done that in a really long time and it was so good so i think the steak with the cauliflower thins with avocado 
That is just my jam. So we're gonna have that for dinner tonight too. You know it's kind of funny How a room full of things Feels completely empty When you're not in the wings Just got back from a nighttime walk um, and now I'm just reheating up dinner. We're having leftover tacos. So I've got the steak in here all chopped up and just reheating it here on the stove. And then I added a little bit of mole on top. I'm gonna mix that together. These, so, okay. These are the cauliflower thins that I really like. Um, but look, this completely fell apart. And then this one broke in half, but I'm still gonna try to use it. But the rest, look normal. Um, I'm putting those in the oven at 350 degrees um, just until they're ready. I don't put a timer on maybe like five to seven minutes ish. Um, but I used to order them directly from Outer Isle, the brand, and they would send them to me frozen. But when I went to the grocery store, they were like in the middle of the vegetables. <laughs> so weird and cold, but like barely. So I don't know, it made the texture of them a little bit funny. So I'm gonna see if I can still order them from um, out the Outer Isle website because it was a lot better that way. They just like didn't fall apart and I feel like they, I don't know, like I feel like they would go moldy where they had them. I mean, I know the thing that they had them in was kind of refrigerated, but I don't know. It was weird, so I probably won't get them from there again if I can get them from the Outer Isle website. Oh, this is looking really good. Delicious. So I'm gonna let that heat up. And then here I've got um, everything already like chopped up from last night. So this is, oh, there's a little bit more steak in here. Let me add that in. So we've got some cheese in here, a little bit of onion. There's a lot of onion in here, but this onion was so potent. Like it's already like getting in my eyes and my nose, but I I feel like it's extra flavorful. Then I've got some cilantro in here, got some lime and avocado. So this is everything. I'm gonna go put this on the table in the living room. Ruben's working outside a little later tonight. So I think I am gonna watch some Vanderpump rules. I've actually I've been off of TikTok really for the past few days, probably since Saturday, just because I felt like I started getting like, it's weird, I started feeling addicted again, but like what I was consuming, I didn't even enjoy. It was like, why am I watching this nonsense? So I've been off of it and I feel ah, so refreshed. So, might be time for another social media detox soon, since I've kind of already started it. But honestly, like, I'm happy with what I'm doing. I don't at all ever feel addicted to Instagram. I just don't. I feel like they kind of ruin the app for themselves. Um, but YouTube, like, I just love YouTube. And YouTube gives me kind of like a Pinterest feel where... And that's the other app that I go on all the time is I just always go on Pinterest and like pin things to different boards and just to get inspired and it makes me feel good. It fuels me rather than empties me, you know? So um, TikTok is definitely an emptier where YouTube and Pinterest are fillers, you know? I think Instagram's an emptier as well, just not as much as TikTok can be. So let me put these fins up in here. Oh, we've got a walk in there. Ah, that's okay. I need to be careful. I know I need to clean my oven, but I'm not going to. I mean, I'll have to at some point, but anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna let those just kind of chill in there for a bit, basically until I can smell them. Once I can smell them, then I know that they're pretty much ready to go. So I'm gonna set the table, keep an eye on this steak, and I will show you it once I've got it all assembled. Delicious.
almost forgot, I put my wraps in the wash and I need to leave them out so that they can dry for tomorrow because I have a kickboxing class in the morning. So I haven't washed my wraps since the last time I kickboxed, which was like a year ago. <laughs> my robe now it's time for skincare I've been making sure that I wear my robe whenever I do like my hair care and my skincare because I've been like ruining my shirts and stuff so this makes it so I don't so I'm gonna show you my current skincare routine let me grab everything out of the shower okay so I've been obsessed obsessed with the desi skin skin so balm makeup melting cleansing balm this is the best makeup remover i swear it's so good so you want to put it on your skin when it's dry on my hands then i just start melting it into the skin sometimes i'll have to go in with a little bit more so i can get the eyelashes forgot to wash my hands and I just had hot sauce on them. Whew, hopefully this doesn't get in my eyes. Now I just rinse it with some hot water and I use a face halo. I love this as well. This is just like my go-to combo. I get that nice and hot. I get a little bit more for my eyes. Now I'm going to go into the Desi Canvas Gentle Detox Cleansing Gel. I love this because I just feel like it's so simple, it's gentle, and my skin seems to be really liking it. So it has um, no fragrance either, which I really like because not that I necessarily mind fragrance, but if something has a bad fragrance, then I notice it. So. I just stepped in water with a sock on. So I have been using Differin for the last two weeks, I'm trying to ease my way up to using this more frequently. For the last year, maybe even like a year and a half, I've been using retinol, just whatever I could get at Sephora. So I did Summer Fridays and then I used the Drunk Elephant one. Um, and I liked it, but I didn't really notice anything too crazy of a difference. Glad I did that for the time because now I feel like I've worked up my tolerance to like stronger retinol. So I did start using this. I use this um, about twice a week at night. So it's now time to use it because I used it two or three nights ago. So I'll use just a tiny amount from my forehead down to my neck and... Tomorrow, I'll make sure that I put on um, some sunscreen. So, this is the amount that I'm using. And then I kind of switch between these two moisturizers. I usually end up using this Charlotte Tilbury one at night and then the Colleen Rothschild one in the morning. It just kind of depends on my mood, but sometimes I'll use the Colleen Rothschild at night. And this in the morning, it just depends. So um, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, what is this, Magic Water Cream uh, moisturizer. Put that right on top. I'm going to use the Colleen Rothschild eye cream on my eyes. I need to floss my teeth. <laughs> I've been so much better about flossing my teeth. And I find now food just gets all up stuck in there. So I feel like the more I floss, the more uh, space there is. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do that. Okay. 
And that is what my skin looks like after putting on my skincare. I feel like it looks so glowy. Okay, let's go take the dog out and what else do I gotta do? Grab, a, grab myself a snack. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Look at you. Ooh, <laughs> wow, what do I have? Oh yeah, how about that? I'll give you a little strawberry. Don't you worry. Well, my I feel like every time I do my skincare, my eyes are just like a little watery. I feel like between removing the makeup and then applying eye cream and doing the whole thing, they're just like sensitive. Um, they're not burning or anything. They just get like a little watery. Anyway, um, I took the dog out and now we're just gonna sit here and watch a little Sex in the City. And I've got my dessert, which is my favorite. This is a keto cup from the brand Eating Evolved. I'm obsessed, they taste so good. And then two strawberries. I eat one with it and then I kind of share the second one with Pretzel. <laughs> so she gets a little dessert as well. Not the keto cup, obviously, it's got chocolate, but just the strawberry. And look at you, you're ready, huh? Okay, let me get you a piece. Good job. Get you another little piece. You're such a good girl. It's my girl. Good job, baby. All gone. That's it for my day. I have to set my alarms because I have to wake up pretty early tomorrow for kickboxing. Tomorrow's, I think I'm going to vlog tomorrow as well. I've got um, a kickboxing class first thing in the morning and then I'll have to get ready. And then it's basically just like an editing day. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. So yeah, it's honestly, it's pretty early. It's only it's not even 9 30 yet and i'm just i'm tired i'm ready to go to bed so thank you for watching this vlog thanks for hanging out and i'll see you in the next one